Welcome back to the Top Notch Documentaries YouTube channel. In today's Israel Keys video, I'll be theorising on Israel's use of the internet and why his internet activity is the most beneficial thing to this case. I hope you enjoy. Let's start off by figuring out why Israel used the internet. Like many other people, Israel used the internet because it provides value to people. People use the internet primarily to buy and sell different products and to learn new things. For instance, the platform that you're on right now, YouTube, is ideal for learning new things. The internet is a place for entertainment. You can engage with others who hold a similar interest, say true crime, or consume content that you enjoy. Israel was pretty similar to you and I when he was active online. He was looking for the same sort of feeling. The fact that he stated that the computer that the FBI had confiscated was the key to figuring out his past activities really stresses the importance of the internet in this case. He had access to the internet from jail as well, and I assume that this was part of the bargaining agreement between him and the FBI. Israel used the internet because it was practical and a source of entertainment for him. He could buy supplies for his business, or crimes if need be. Or he could monitor case progression from his own crimes. He felt anonymous, unconnected from his criminal actions. The internet acted as a barrier to his apprehension. He could essentially mask his identity and still get kicks out of leaving comments on his cases without there being any consequences. Israel's search history, what he purchased or sold online, or even what he might have learned from others on different platforms is going to be highly beneficial to any progress for the investigation. He was known to have been active or at least posted on forum or news websites every now and then. He got into arguments online but I wonder if it's more than this. Surely he didn't just spend his entire internet time just arguing online. Could he have been attempting to gain more knowledge on how to better conduct criminal activities? It's definitely a possibility. After all, Israel had managed to find police radio frequencies online for local towns in Texas prior to going there. This would have aided him had he ever done a bank robbery in a specific town. He researched banks in different areas, so he might have specifically travelled to an area when events were taking place, like the wine tasting tours in which he attended. More people from out of town in a smaller location, that means more victims to choose from. This research would have had him already having found a place to take someone, and this could have been through real estate searches online, and having already mapped out his timeline for that trip. He would know where he was going in precise detail. Nothing would have been up to chance except a random victim. Anything is possible with this case and Israel was already implementing at least some of these tactics prior to arriving in an area. During the Texas trip in March 2012, an ad on a Utah news website raised suspicion with the FBI once it flooded into the tip line, like hundreds of other tips at the time of Israel's arrest. The ad regarded the user who went by the name Israel, who had posted a Glock 27 for $350 and this pricing is apparently well under value for that specific pistol. If this was Israel, then he was using the internet for practical reasons to try to make money, or maybe there was a more sinister ulterior motive at play. It's likely that Israel sold stuff online, and I wonder if victim items might have been sold. I know that Israel enjoyed possessing victim jewellery or clothing, and so that isn't something that he would have liked to part with following his crimes. But, smaller items of value could have been used to make him money. He sold guns on Craigslist and so he's bound to have at least attempted eBay or many of the other alternatives. The online marketplace is vast after all. Israel also used online dating websites despite being in relationships at the time for the most part. It has been reported that at least one of his partners actually caught him speaking to people on one of these websites. This presumably led to the relationship issues that Israel was going through. They were evidently bound to fail because of this internet behaviour. Was he attempting to victimise these people, or manipulate them into sending him money? We know that predators like Israel tend to view people as objects. It seems likely that Israel would attempt to manipulate people and use them to his own advantage wherever possible. Overall, I believe the internet will inevitably help make progression in the Israel Keys case. For all of Israel's rants about American society and his primitive upbringing, he sure used the internet a lot. From what I've read, the articles and whatnot, you believe that the internet was a foreign concept to Israel, as if he had no experience with using it. This couldn't be further from the truth. Doing research for this video and reading books on him enabled me just to see how much he used the internet. 
how his crimes really revolved around it, planning out his crimes to escalate in them and then ultimately the aftermath, checking on cases for updates and then interacting on them. Israel was obsessed with the internet, but you'd be made to believe that he was completely uninterested in it just by what you might stumble across online. All of his internet activities helped to paint a picture of him as the type of person that he truly was. These then helped to see the patterns in his crimes. For instance, search history would help to find out places of travel and missing persons on his computer would help to easily connect or rule out potential victims. Any questionable adverts posted on websites or even personal accounts would prove beneficial in placing Israel in certain areas. The amount of information that would unravel would surely be endless as the dots are connected and new information can be pinpointed, bringing all of the clues together. This has been the Israel Keys video and how the internet is the most beneficial thing to making progress in this case. As always, thank you for watching.